Hey everybody, look what I got! A puppy! Hi oh, puppies! Hi oh, puppies! Oh, it's a little feisty. Two weeks ago we got a new puppy. We had, uh, we've always had dogs for all the years of marriage. Um, but our last dog got really old and a couple years ago we had to put her down. And we had some cats still, so we've just been cat family uh, for about the past year and a half, two years. And then we stumbled upon somebody who didn't want an outrageous price for puppies. Look at this, is Coda. K-O-D-A, Coda. And he is a half Doberman, half Husky. If you notice, he's got one blue eye like Huskies do. He was the only dog in the batch that had the eye situation. And here he is. He's about, I don't know, over eight weeks old, maybe nine. So, and he's feisty. And he likes to bite and chew and he's a monster thanks for being here you can go away now Ugh. all right so I actually have um nothing new to show um, as far as uh, music and vinyl past couple weeks I've been working really hard to get all of my CDs that in my that I showed in my room tour um, all of them logged in to my Discogs. And I completed that a few days ago. I still have all of my DVDs and music things like that to get in, in there. Um, one thing I discovered that I do not like about Discogs, it really frustrated me, is um, I was always using the filter situation so I could click on vinyl and just pull up all my vinyl and then I could see you know, what I bought recently. I could easily keep track of, hey, what have I shown in a video and what have I not? Um, but it turns out you have a big collection once your collection goes over 2,500 pieces all the filters go away so let's see as of right now my collection on Discogs is 3,315 pieces so I have no filtering ability um, anyway so all of my music CDs and some DVDs and all my vinyl is on there if you want to look me up on Discogs it's jeff.mccormack um, and be a friend um, some of the things as I was listing them on there if they were worth some money and I was willing to let them go I posted them and literally like in the first day within minutes after posting some things boom somebody scooped, just jumped right in and scooped them up um, I think I sold like six CDs in the first three days for a total of almost $300. I mean, they were, I wasn't selling things that were just like $5 here and there, but if it was something I was like, hey, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks, I posted up there and some of them disappeared real quick. Um, so I'm still gonna wanna bring down that number, um, remove uh, some of the less needed CDs from my collection, make some more room for the vinyl. Anyway, so since I have nothing majorly new to show, I was trying to think of a good thread if you all want to join me in this, it'd be great. Um, and I've never really done a thread. I did mention one a while back in passing, uh, but it never got any attention. Um, so this is one that I'm actually kind of a conscious effort. That one kind of was off the cuff. This will be a conscious effort. Gave it a little bit of thought. Now, it's sort of similar to one that I have seen recently, but with a little slight twist. Um, and I'm going to keep it to, in this case, just one you can actually show as many as you want, but no, you can't because here it's going to be tweaked a little bit more. Here's what I want to see. Recently, some people were saying bands that you've seen in concert for the most part. I didn't get a chance to participate in that or I didn't make a video for that. But um, what I'd like to see is the first band that you purposely went to see. And I want to see the album that the tour was that you saw them on. Um, and what I mean by purposely saw is when I was a child, my parents took me to concerts. I didn't purposely go to those concerts. So I'm not gonna say that, hey, I saw Rory Clark. I loved it, it was great. You know, I like Rory Clark. Rory Clark. Um, my dad was a big Hee Haw fan. Rory Clark came, came, we went, I met him backstage. He signed my, address, my name, his name on my arm. But anyway, that was not a concert I purposely went to. My first concert that I purposely went to on my own well you know desired to go to was KISS and it was the Dynasty Tour 
Now, um, a lot of people give give a lot of you know they don't like this album as much as disco, blah blah blah. So let's see. Growing up in the '70s, before I discovered Kiss, this was the first rock band really that I ever um, got into purposely bought. Um, before that, I listened to the Grease soundtrack, Andy Gibb, the Bee Gees, uh, Saturday Night Fever, things along that line. So it was disco fever. Knock on wood, I had that single. Uh, pop music, oh, I love that something. Pop, pop, pop music. Talk about pop music. Anyway, um, and then I discovered Kiss's Love Gun. Uh, it might have been out already about a year because it seems like it was, uh, I think Kiss Alive 2 may have already had, had come out around the same time that I had bought Love Gun. But anyway, I bought Love Gun. But the first concert I ever went to, went with my brother and a friend of his in the neighborhood, because my brother is five years older than me. So he took me to the concert. I would have been 13. Um, went down to the Hampton Coliseum in Virginia. This was like the day or day or two after they played was it Maryland or something? There's a video out there. I have a copy of the video. There's a video, bootleg video concert of the tour. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure. And it was taped like the show before the one that I saw. But anyway, Kiss Dice. Anyway, I had no problem with disco. Um, I don't think it's really disco. I think there's a disco vibe to, you know, uh, one or two songs but for the most part it's a good hard rocking album it was a great show i love the big flamboyant flashy costumes it was just a great show of course you know things were rocky in the band you don't know that from a fan standpoint uh, back in those days because the internet wasn't around and all that so we didn't know that they were on the verge of breaking up and that peter did may not have played on this song or ace didn't do this or do that it was just a great show anyway so that was my first concert that i purposely went to um, I doubt I paid for it, but hey, I went with my brothers. We went, my first concert experience was we went like at noon and we sat outside on the pavement waiting for them to open the doors. Um, and just there was a lot of people there and we were all just hanging out. Uh, as the door time got closer, people started to do the chant one, two, three, four, open up the, you know. And anyway, um, and we, we ran in. It was so exciting. Anyway, I was new to the concert thing. But anyway, my first concert and the tour that I saw was Kiss Dynasty. So that that's the that's the idea. You may say, you know, my favorite. Uh, the first time I saw uh, Van Halen, you know, but uh, I want to see the album for the tour that it was. Um, so just keep it the one. Keep it sweet. Give us a little story about it. Like I like I said, uh, it was my first concert experience. We sat outside. It was just a great time. I have fond memories of that. The other memory I have of that is standing in front of the doors big you know double doors right between the double doors is a metal bar well i'm right we were there so early that i my brother's behind me i'm right in front of the door right in front of the doors right in front of the doors where there are like this and guess what there's this big metal beam in between them as soon as those doors open up and everybody pushed me boom i hit the beam and it's straight down my arm and i think it, it left a little scratch on me but i got shoved through the door and um, so it was kind of a crazy time. And then we just all, like rats, scattered to go find some place to sit or stand. I think we sat for that show because it seems like I, my memories are from viewing it from the side. But I could be wrong. I've seen Kiss a handful of times. Anyway, that's it. First concert you ever purposely went to and what tour was it and show me that release. So jump on board. Let's do a little thread. Let's have a little fun. Just uh, something to uh, talk about. Tell me the experience. How old were you? What was the, the scenario? How did it go? Uh, anyway, have fun with it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And I will see you next time. Later.